Wow. Okay, I'm pretty sure there's no math in the next talk. <laughs> Am I safe to say that? Yeah. yeah, cut the math out if you're going to have some math. No. Uh, Jens is going to talk because he is a speaker and visitor of many and organizer of one C++ conference. And he's going to do, I can't believe, this is adorable that in 2014 there are so many C++ conferences that we need to compare and contrast and overview them. I am absolutely delighted that that is a topic for us. So that is our topic, C++ conferences. Um. I have to disappoint Kate in one, in one special point. No, it's not math. Um, C++ conferences are, in my opinion, not comparable. Oh. So um, I'm obviously biased as I organize my own conference, so I kind of uh, don't try to compare them as they're different, and uh, each one is special. So um, all right, that's a boring slide about me. Um, so, uh, yeah, let's get started in, in the topic, so C++ conferences. Um, I just made a list of probably almost uh, every C++ conference which currently exists. Um, first and for all, we are currently at C++ Con, as you have oh, yeah. Noticed, I guess. Um, <laughs> then there is C++ and beyond. There is C++ now. There is ADC, which is, uh, stands for Advanced Developer Conference in Bavaria. Uh, meeting C++ in my very own conference this year in Berlin. Um, Qt Dev Days and Going Native. And um, you might have noticed that there are a few conferences of which you have heard or which you attended yourself are missing. Um, those are just, it's just a, a short list of uh, pure C++ conferences which are um, also existing R conferences um, that have a C++ track. Um, for example, the ACCU, the NDC, the Silicon Valley Code Camp, which also gets organized by um, the C++ track by John Kolb. And uh, Microsoft Build Conference also usually has a C++ track or uh, several talks about C++. Um, and I thought I'd give you an overview where those conferences are situated. Um, those are in Europe. And um, those are in America. Um, now that I think about it, there is also a conference like Thing in Japan called Boost Study Meeting, where the Japanese uh, Boost scene usually meets a day or two to, um, I'm not sure if it's like conference-like or if it's really a study meeting. Um, I, have ne I have never attended that, so, and I probably don't intend to, to do it because my Japanese is not very good. Um, so one thing I would like to um, encourage you is to speak at conferences, because I think it's a very good thing as a speaker, and I know that many, many of you are speakers already in the room, and I know that many, many of you in the room are also have the potential to present something interesting about C++, and um, it's a great tra uh, training, and you could have started with a lightning talk, and I guess some of you did start with a lightning talk at this conference. Um, <coughs> If, you interest, if you're interested in, in speaking, um, there's usually for each conference a call for paper. It's where you can um, submit your talk as a description and a title usually, and you usually uh, submit a, a speaker bio. And um, then you um, usually get voted by a committee or um, from Meeting C++, we, I did it this year the first time, that uh, attendees did vote on the talks. It was very successful. And then this result of the voting is basically um, yeah, the schedule, almost. So I decided to give you an overview about three different conferences, which I have visited three times or organized three times. And those are C++ Now, uh, Qt Dev Days, and my own uh, conference, of course, too. So. Here we are with C++ now. Um, it's a very nice conference, as we see in Aston. 
Um, the weather is not always that good, but usually you have you have uh, very good weather in Aspen. I've been three times now there. Um, but what you what you definitely should see is that uh, Aspen is very high, and um, I get to some other details about Aspen later. Um, C++ now affects, uh, it's a rather small conference with 150 attendees. It has a very high quote of how to say that of really C++ professionals. It has, uh, um, it's passed as an, in the BoostCon conference, so it's a lot of people from the Boost community are there, and it's, uh, if you're interested in Boost, this is one of the best conferences you can go to. And it lasts like this uh, conference. Uh, five days, but it's a bit easier to choose the talks because you only have three parallel tracks. And um, as we saw in the previous picture, the the conference itself is in a, in a park-like surrounding where you um, can spend the, the breaks, etc. Also in the park, it's very nice. Um, as I always also, also as I already mentioned. Um, the conference has its roots in the Boost uh, conference, which originally started there in Aspen. In my opinion, it's a very, very good conference for C++ nerds. But it might be hard to get there, because this year, um, the, the first picture I showed you was also from this year, from um, Friday or Saturday. This is a few days earlier. We had winter. Um, I think it's a bit uh, a tribute to the long winter and the hard winter in North America. Um, but as you should know that asthma is in the Rockies, you always have to to see that snow is an option. So um, when you're coming to Aspen, you definitely have to, to bring summer and winter clothes and um, basically switch during the day because the nights are really cold in Aspen. And um, you also should be aware that Aspen has uh, quite a high altitude, so um, doing sports, etc., in Aspen is sometimes a bit difficult for people. Topics usually general C++, Boost, standard C++, you know, just um, the the schedule of the of, of the last years is always available, uh, which you can look through. Um, and further details about C++ now are at their website. Which brings me to the Qt Developer Days, which are a specialized conference. Um, this year again, now for the third year, I think, in, in Berlin, the European version. And there's also a, a version in San Francisco. Um, as we see on the next slide, uh, which is in November, and Berlin is in October. Um, and it's a two-day conference, and in front of the conference there's a training day. Um, you can book this training separately so that you um, can att attend all three days or just the conference. Um, if you're new to Qt, the training day is very good. If you already have done a lot with Qt, um, you might should think about if there's a training that fits your needs currently or just attend the conference. Um, I usually now skip the training day. The first years I was there, um, it was very good, but now I don't need it anymore. I say work every day was cute. Um, yeah, it's a bit older already um, from the conference. It has a long history, um, and cute is not only C++, so the topics on this conference are not only C++. Um, <laughs> Of course, Qt is a, is a big topic, QML, um, the platforms developing for different platforms with Qt, and C++ is also a topic. So they also have talks like what is new in C++11. Um, but it's, it's less important for the conference, and Qt is really the main focus. So if you don't like Qt, you should not go there. <laughs> um, yeah, and details are on qtdevdays.com, which will uh, lead you to both websites for both conferences in Europe and in uh, America. Which brings me to my very own uh, beloved conference, Meeting C++ 2014. Um, Meeting C++ is a little bit more than a conference. Um, you see the history. Uh, we had, for the last two years, 
quite a little bit of growth. And um, for this year, we also have uh, 50 students, which are sponsored by a company called ThinkTel. Um, and um, yeah, it's also a website and a blog for C++. And um, one of my goals as I started meeting C++ was not always the, not not also the conference, but also uh, trying to um, get more user groups started. And uh, I'll talk about that tomorrow. Um, but back to the conference, as I mentioned, it's this year in Berlin for the first time. Um, and it's probably going to stay also in Berlin for the next years, I hope. Um, the topics are general C++ uh, libraries like Boost, Qt, uh, standard C++. This year, uh, we have a theme track each year. This year, this will be uh, scientific programming in, with C++. So um, we have a focus on uh, numerics and um, threading, etc. cetera. And um, the, the program was uh, chosen. Um, the program was chosen um, by a voting, so um, we had over 50 talks which got submitted, and the voting helped uh, me tremendously to, to actually uh, choose the right program for the conference. So, um, yeah, it's two days conference, three tracks with seven talks, and two keynotes by uh, Heeman and Hartmut Kaiser. <laughs> And yeah, um, a little bit of history. This is uh, the staff, and including me. Um, this is basically my user group, the local user group in Düsseldorf, uh, where the conference was hosted the first two years. And um, there, ever since then, being uh, the local staff doing doing what what the people with uh, uh, I don't know what color is that cyan. cyan. Um, sign shirts to here, so um, they do that at my conference, and they wear black shirts with uh, meeting C++ stuff on it. And um, well, further details um, about my conference and everything I do there um, on my website, meetingc++.com, and well, um, short. Uh, um, I'll speak tomorrow with John uh, Kolb um, about C++ user groups and founding them. Um, if you're interested in getting involved in the community and building a local community in your area, uh, you might want to attend uh, tomorrow uh, the first session at 9 o'clock. Um, not sure what room it is. I have to still look that up. Um, so yeah, questions? Um, no, because this is a lightning talk. So um, if you have any questions, you can uh, come to um, me and ask me. I'm happy to answer any questions or you know, uh, send me a mention on Twitter or an email. Thank you for. <laughs> <laughs>